Your eager kite too eager. I promise, this ends today. You won't escape from me, Chris, or Quentin, or whatever you call yourself now. Payback day is finally here. trouble with the video feed. I hope they fix it quick. Oh, I'm so worried. My processors won't rest till I find out if Master Kai is safe or not. T to catch up with him, I'll have to pour it on. Yeah! Ah! I wonder where this crazy coaster's taking us. Who knows? At this speed, everything is just a blur. Ah. I can't slow down till I get to a field for a one-on-one -on -one duel. But if you crash, you may not be able to have any duels. What will happen if you rush into another trap, Yuma? Uh, I don't know, but maybe something like that. This, this is not my day. It's orbital. You, ma, 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 ma. Do you know where Master Kikai is? You sound funny. Are you okay? That grouchy girl is tagging along too. Watch it, or I'll rearrange your wiring. Please don't, don't do that. I have to go and find Master Kite. So that's why you're here? <laughs> There's something important that I have to talk to Kite about, too. All right. We can track down Kite together, then. Help me to locate him, okay, Orbital? Right! Scanning now! Last, I knew you and I would face each other in battle someday, Kite. <laughs> Ever since I learned the truth about your family and mine, I've been filled with the desire to get revenge. I swore that nothing would stop me from settling the score. Nothing, Kite. You're gonna regret what you did to Hart. I'll make sure of that. Now let's duel! I'll go first. Get set, I draw! I summon Planet Pathfinder! Next up, I summon Solar Wind Jammer in attack mode! I'm allowed to summon this card by cutting its attack points in half. Next, I'll give both monsters an upgrade by activating my Tannhauser Gate spell. Now my monsters combine their levels. My monsters are level 4 and 5, Kite. That means they'll both become level 9 monsters. I can guess what's coming next. <laughs> I doubt it. I overlay my level 9 Pathfinder and Windjammer in order to build the Overlay Network. IXC Summon number 9, Dyson Spear! The number... Where is your number, Quinton? 
You will discover that soon enough, I promise. In the meantime, since I exceed summoned, this space field's effect kicks in. It allows me to draw one card. <laughs> I'll place a card face down and end my turn. That number must be somewhere. It's your turn. You're looking a little worried, Kite. What's wrong? Nothing. I draw! I know that number is out there somewhere. But even if I can't see it, I have to try and take it down. Here goes! I summon Photon Delta Wing! Photon Delta Wing, attack Dyson Sphere! Photon Fury! That was useless. Your attack couldn't possibly do any damage. How could that be? Wouldn't you like to know? Too bad this will be over before you have answers. I draw! Now I'll attack your Photon Delta Wing with my Dyson Sphere! What? How in the world did you do that, Quentin? You wouldn't understand. Just accept that I have you hopelessly outmatched and you're going to lose. This field is virtual, of course, but quite realistic. I'm picking up a dual-tab identification signal. Huh? It's definitely Master Kite! He must be aboard that ship. You better slow down or we're gonna make a crash landing. There's something wrong with the controls. They're not responding. <laughs> uh, next time, I'll do the driving. Master Kite! What a relief to see you're safe. Huh? Listen, Kite. I have something important to tell you. Really? Yeah. It's about Dextra. She was in a duel. <sighs> against Vetrix. She was defeated. I saw it. Dextra was trying to stand up for you. But Vetrix was too strong. It's clear that she really cares about you. Well, I couldn't care less. Ah, you can't mean that. That's cold. Oh, Master Kite! Ah, she did everything to try and protect you! So, it's Yuma Tsukumo, huh? the son of Kazuma Tsukumo. It's you. It's fitting that the three of us should meet now. Destiny has clearly brought us together. Ah, I want some answers from you. Listen, tell me where my father is. All right. Before Kite and I resume, I'll tell you everything I know about your father. I want a duel now. You can share your story some other time. Are we gonna continue to battle or not? It can wait. The story that I'm about to tell concerns you as well. Perhaps it will help all of you understand my family's actions, why we came here to compete in the duel carnival, and why we targeted Kite and his brother Hart. The answer is that they are linked to our real enemy, we seek revenge against their father, Dr. Faker. Ah, Dr. Faker is their father? You mean the same guy who built up Heartland? It began five years ago. Back then, Dr. Faker and my father, Byron Arclight, were working together on experiments in search of a door that could lead to other worlds. Eh, the 21 anomalies I detected should lead me to the location. But it isn't working! It seems there's something missing in my calculations! It's driving me mad! Dr. Faker, please, have a cup of tea and try to relax. Ah! There isn't any time to relax! Arkwright, I have to open that portal before it's too late! Doctor, don't forget there is someone else looking for the portal who might be able to help us. Hey, Chris! Bring up the file we discussed. Yes, sure, Father. One second. If anyone can help us, it's this man. One of the world's most daring adventurers. Kazuma Tsukumo. Ah, 
What an incredible view. And I have it all to myself. There's no one else around for at least a hundred miles. Huh? Of course, I could be wrong. Oh, quite the impressive layout you've got here. Welcome. I'm sorry to have interrupted your trip so suddenly, Kazuma Tsukumo, but I'm glad you came. I'm Byron Arclight, and it is an honor to meet you. These are the most advanced gravitational wave scans I've ever seen. But they're not advanced enough! I've tried every possible technology, but still can't find the interdimensional portal! It must exist! I'm sure of it! But there's something we're missing! Kazuma, you've been looking for the portal too. Would you be willing to share your research with us? If we succeed, it will change the course of human history. You will become famous and rich beyond your wildest dreams. Ah. Money and fame, they're of no interest to me. All I care about is locating that interdimensional portal. <laughs> In that case, we can work together. That was a test, wasn't it? The living for adventure and the thrill of discovery are all I care about. Huh? I'd say we found the right partner. Take a look at this. Arclight and I have detected abnormal gravity readings at 21 different locations around the globe. We believe these readings indicate where the interdimensional portal has emerged in the past. By analyzing this data, we were hoping to predict where the portal will next appear. So you based your prediction on this data? Yes, the calculation is quite complicated. I almost have it solved! But there's one piece missing. No. You're missing two pieces. Huh? Your observations are incomplete, Doctor. Oh. Some discoveries can only be made outside a laboratory. I found two more locations on my expeditions. There are 23 data points. Ah. Oh. Then that's why my calculations have been off. Right. Do your math over and you should have no trouble locating the portal. Kazuma was correct. With the additional data he supplied, Dr. Faker reworked his calculations. He soon identified the location where the portal would appear next. We raced there as quickly as we could. Reaching that portal won't be easy. We have a challenging trek before us, my friends. You better stay here, Chris. I'll go on with Dr. Faker and Kazuma. Good luck. That was the last time I saw all of them together but I know what happened after they left me. When I finally saw my father again, he told me everything. Following Dr. Faker's calculations, and with Kazuma guiding the group, they pressed onward. Kazuma, what if after all this effort, we arrive at the location and there is no portal? Even if we fail in our quest, it will be worth the effort. Anyway, the most important thing is that we never give up and keep feeling the flow. Feeling the flow? It's something I tell my son, so that he never gives up. That's your family, Kazuma? Yes. My son Yuma is really into dueling. Mine too. I have three sons myself, and dueling means everything to them. Dr. Faker also has sons, two of them. Do you know why he's so obsessed with finding that interdimensional portal? I'm not sure. But if anyone can locate it, he can. Dr. Faker is a true genius. The runes I found were very clear. Deliver two souls for mysteries untold. Two souls, huh? Hmm. Three days later, the group finally arrived at the location. Gentlemen, I think we found what we're seeking. Arclight, look here! I saw this rune in my research. It's true! We have found the portal! Success at last! And now we just have to open it! Let's hurry! Uh, watch out! Move! 
Listen, Byron. We have to proceed carefully. This whole location must be filled with traps. Whoever built this place didn't want trespassers. If you want to leave here in one piece, I suggest you watch your step. Looks like we reached a dead end. That's strange. Maybe we took a wrong turn. Should we go back? Huh? What's this? <laughs> Gentlemen, the time has finally come. Dr. Faker? Believe me, I regret that there is no other way. Doctor, what's going on here? The writing beneath your feet explains everything. The ancient inscription reads, Deliver two souls for mysteries untold. You planned to betray us all along, didn't you? I have sworn to open a passage to other worlds, and nothing will stop me! You've lost your mind! How can you do this, Doctor? How can you betray your friend? A friend? So what? <sighs> All that's ever mattered to me is reaching my goal. Byron was useful for a time, but now he's expendable! Whoa! Byron, just hang on! Kazuma, save yourself. Let go of my hand. My son always tells me, when he duels with someone, then they become friends forever. It's the same for me. Anyone who goes exploring with me will always be my friend. We're in this together. All right. Enough! The portal is open, and you're both finished! Uh You'll pay for this, Faker! My father couldn't believe how Faker betrayed them. That was the last anyone saw of my father. Deliver two souls for mysteries untold. That sounds like an exceed summon. Yuma, one day my father did return. He found a way to travel through interdimensional gaps between the worlds until he reached this world again. However, there was a price. His appearance became warped until he was no longer recognizable. My father now calls himself Betrix. I thought he was a kid. It's all Faker's fault. He betrayed my father, and I've sworn to someday get revenge. This doesn't change anything. Dr. Faker means nothing to me. I only care about heart. And getting even for what you did! Move away, Yuma! It's my turn. I draw! To start, I summon Photon Thrasher! I can bring out Rasher when I don't have any other monsters on my field. And I'll follow that up by summoning Photon Pirate! When I banish a Photon Monster from my graveyard, Photon Pirate gets a thousand attack points stronger. I tribute my Photon Thrasher and my Photon Pirate! Here comes the monster more savage than a supernova! With a cataclysmic force of ten black holes put together, a cosmic scourge that vaporizes anything in its path! Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon! You're playing into my hands perfectly, Kite. Let's see, my Delta Wing had 1,800 attack points. It was destroyed on my last turn, and I got hit with 1,000 points of damage. So then Quinton's invisible number must have 2,800 attack points. Galaxy Eyes! Use your 3,000 attack points to pummel number nine! Big mistake! We'll see. Go Photon Stream of Destruction! It failed! Of course it did. To understand why, take a look at my number!
huge. How could any monster destroy it? It seems impossible. That's because it is impossible. No one has ever defeated Dyson Sphere in battle, and no one ever will!